This is a twin cylinder diesel engine from a truck refrigeration unit. The starter motor didn't work, but we don't really need it anyway because uh, that's a three horsepower, 36 volt uh, DC forklift motor and it's going to start the engine and then uh, once it's uh, finished, this is just in the prototype stage, uh, it'll also act as a low voltage generator and this blue motor here is a 100 volt DC uh, treadmill motor from an exercise machine and it's a permanent magnet motor so it will generate uh, a high voltage for uh, things like the vacuum cleaner or the saw or any other universal wound motor or a light. The only thing to be careful of is that uh, the engine speed is adjusted so that uh, the voltage isn't too high. There is a slight voltage drop when the tool comes on, it's the light dim a little bit, but it's still fine. Um, I put masking tape on the pulleys so that I could use the tachometer to uh, measure the speed. The motor runs at about uh, 1500 RPM and this one uh, at about 2500. And there's a bit of water dribbling through because the radiator is taken off. Um, so I think we're ready for the test. Oh, uh, I'm using uh, the battery power supply that we use for a battery welder. The uh, arc welding torch is clamped onto the motor with a tab like this. The hole in it is uh, to attach to the motor terminal and the torch clamps on to the tab there just like it would onto a welding rod. And uh, on the other terminal of the motor I've got a flat piece of uh, copper I can just clamp the ground clamp to for starting. So, and the uh, uh, fuel tank is a keg. The stainless kegs here just get crushed to scrap, so they're very cheap. I weld fittings onto them for various purposes. Uh, they make great hydraulic tanks or glycol tanks for cooling systems or even water. I think some of always put beer into them too.